back. Welcome back to Nathouse Doctor. It's the middle of March. It's a beautiful spring day, as you can see <laughs> by the gloom. It's rubbish. So we're indoors. And we did promise we'd come back and uh, report back on some experimental side as we've been doing this year, Chess. Is that right? That's true. And we've got, we've got two of them here. Uh, what have you got there? You've got the rhubarb one, yeah? This one is called Rhubarb Rhubarb. Rhubarb Rhubarb. So good we named it twice. So that, if you remember, I mean, oh, we'll, we'll cut in a little bit because I don't think we actually should. Sure. We, we did put a video up on this, but we have got some cuts of us putting, it was Victoria rhubarb from a friend, and we stored it in the freezer uh, for a couple of days, cut it into little slices, and then put it in with some stock red and some brown apples. And if you imagine, you can see that pink. Oh, no, I can't <laughs> see that pink. The thing about, I think the thing about um, when you ferment with the flavour of the star, I, I don't know what it's going to taste like. You do, you do lose a little bit of the flavour. Whereas if you chuck in the rhubarb at the end, you're going to get more of a rhubarb flavour. Um, but we we fermented with the rhubarb, so uh, let's see how it went. You, you go first. So it should be about well, it's gone right down, isn't it? In specific gravity, it should be about six point eight percent. So that's a little cloudy. It has a, a faintly rhubarby smell. Yeah, it's got a bit of rhubarb there. That's, there's still a bit of rhubarb. Yeah, and you can imagine that. <laughs> Just. No, you're not imagining it. Just. It's a bit of rhubarb, a little bit cloudy. What do you reckon? I think it's rather nice. It you're always very considered in your... your, 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 your um... I think it's got definitely got the tartness of the rhubarb, but it's not too... not it's too not much rhubarb. tannin. It's like a sweet and sour sauce. Yeah, there's a sourness there. Have it with a Chinese meal. There's a little bit of sourness and a sweetness. You're right. Um, I don't. I think yeah, the younger. You know, I'm not saying underage, but you know, the young person uh, in the twenties that would probably appeal to them. Yeah. But the question is, I don't we, mind it. I mean, we it, don't normally compare our own to shoes, but what would the sweet and sour uh, shoe be? Oh God, sweet and sour <laughs> shoe. I didn't thought that. <laughs> I, I, I mean, what do I... I've got some of the Chinese food. Yeah, what do <laughs> <Bowed> feet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. No, kimono slippers. Kimono, kimono slippers. slippers. Oh, no, that's Chinese. Japanese, not Chinese. But they do sweet and sour, don't they? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Japanese or Chinese food. Maybe we need to cut this back. There might be a lot of editing this. Um, well, yeah, it's some sort of Chinese footwear. Because it is sweet and sour. Uh, not crushed feet. Uh, a nice pair of slippers. Just Chinese slippers. Floral, floral, it's got a floralness to it. A nice pair of floral, you know, sort of um, satiny slippers. Satin slippers. Nice. Okay, have another slug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> the other one. <laughs> the interesting, the other one, we called it the Joker. <laughs> And this one, uh, do you remember, we have, we have put a video of this already. This was the meddler on the quince, yeah? I think this is mainly known because our grandson's like Batman. Was that right? That's where the joke came from. Oh, right, okay. And this is St. Martin and Black Um So they're more bittersweet than better sharps. Um, and it smells cidery. Oh, well, that's good. It's, it's I'm not sure I'm getting a quince or, I mean... No, no, because when it went in, it was, it was delicious very nectary aromatic. Yeah, that's right, it was like it nectar. Looks it's, color, still, it's still a bit less colour. It's nice and clear. Mm. So it's quite sweet, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. It's got a sweetness to it. Um, uh, the thing is, once you put the quince, you start imagining things, don't you? Can you imagine any quince in there? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Large orange. Joker. Pear shaped. <laughs> they were lovely. Um, I prefer that one, the quince. Well, they're going to go into the camera, uh, Equinox Festival. Look, we need the glasses here from a previous one. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, beer festival, it says. And so I wouldn't say that price, but you don't let me put you off if you want to vote for them. You know? No, I think they're delicious. They are delicious. And, uh, you know, get yourself down to the, the, the Camera Equinox Festival. And, and, and you might get a nice glass like this. And you, you get a glass, glass and you get some nice ciders. Uh, we might even see you there. <laughs> <laughs>